Welcome everybody to the inaugural episode of the Chippendale tutorial series. I've been looking forward to sharing this episode with you all for quite some time since I finished the uh, Legacy of the Wizard tutorial back in September. I've been working on this thing since October and well it would have been done a little bit quicker except I got a new job and it's been taking up a lot of my time but it's more because I've just been procrastinating on one last thing. You know I put I produced 90% of this tutorial in the first two months and then I spent the last month trying to do the last 10% but you know that's just the way programming is right? So anyways, uh, I'm trying something a little different here. This series is going to be bumpered with a prologue and an epilogue in like the last tutorial series, which I hope to be able to put important information in that you might need throughout the course series, series of the, uh, throughout the course of the tutorial. Like uh, previously in the Legacy of the Wizard tutorial, I tried to link to the project files in every single episode, but in this uh, tutorial, I am going to be linking to the project files only in the prologue episode and maybe in the epilogue episode as well. That's mainly so that if I have any problems or I need to change the link or anything, I only have to change it in one video as opposed to changing it in every single video, which would not be very good. So, uh, yeah, that's what we got going here. Uh, let's see. What else do we got going on here? So, uh, with the Chippendale tutorial, as you can see here, we are going to have a lot of familiar code come back to visit us or to haunt us, depending on your uh, view on these things. So we'll have like the display manager back and object input back and so on and so forth. But uh, I hope that I have made some evolution and redesigns that make going over these old objects a useful endeavor for everyone who even those who have previously watched my uh, last tutorial and uh, so beyond that uh, there's gonna be a lot of bugs at the once you we once we get to the end of the project there's still gonna be bugs there's still gonna be some missing features but uh, I what well, this is just a tutorial and I you're not expecting me to release this as a full game, right? So hopefully we'll be able to, this will give you an opportunity to do some of the stuff on your own. Like uh, one of the things that didn't implement was the uh, power-up system. I implemented the box, but I did not implement the actual power-up that would drop with it or the invincibility. But uh, the invincibility for the power-up would be fairly simple because you just use invincibility that you get after taking damage and stuff so on anyways but i digress let's see anything else i'm also going to be trying some new video editing techniques to maybe get a better quality from these videos well i have no idea how well it'll work out but uh we'll see so uh hopefully that'll be uh, something that'll that'll uh, work out for everybody anyways thank you for your support everybody and i hope that this uh, project uh works for everybody and good luck with your programming